Roman togas don't cover nipples. So, what does that have to do with the brachial plexus? Well, we shall find out. So today we're going to go through how to draw out the brachial plexus, and the phrase Roman togas don't cover nipples shall help you out. So, what does this actually mean? It's actually just a mnemonic, a way to remember each segment of the brachial plexus and what they're called. So, R, Roman, R stands for roots, togas, T stands for the trunks, and then we've got the divisions, the cords, as well as the nerves. Okay, so the root, root refers to the cervical uh, nerve comes out of, and the root of the nerve is the anterior rami of the two, the anterior rami over here. Um, okay, so we've got the C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. Okay, you got that? Then what's going to happen is that these two over here are going to fuse together to form one trunk, these two are going to fuse together to form another trunk, and C7 is left alone. So those are the three trunks, and what are they called? Well, you've got an upper trunk, a middle trunk, and a lower trunk. Okay, moving on. Next part, we've got divisions, and lucky for us, everything is divided into two divisions. We've got an anterior and a posterior division. Let's draw in the posterior division first, so everything splits into the front and back. Okay, posterior division. So it comes to the back, middle also splits into two, this one comes behind, and the lower also has got a posterior division coming behind, and all of them fuse into one. Whereas you've also got the anterior division, we'll go back to the same color, coming in front. So, at the division part, everything splits into anterior and posterior division. Then, you've got the cords, where these two fuse together to form one cord, and you've got the three posteriors that fuse together to form a second cord, and then you've also got this one over here marching on forming its own cord. And so what are these three cords called? So you've got a lateral cord, you've got a posterior cord, surprise, surprise, um, because the posterior divisions all form the posterior cord, and you've also got a medial, medial cord. And so all of these are referring to the artery that it surrounds. So all of these three envelop a particular artery that when they come down, they're going to one is going to be behind it, posterior, and one's going to be lateral to it, and the other one's going to be medial. So that's why they're called the lateral, posterior, and medial cord. And then finally, these are going to split off. So what happens? And they're going to split off into their respective nerves. So posterior splits into a radial nerve and also a axillary nerve. And then the lateral moves on by itself, Can it will split off, and when it moves on after splitting this becomes the musculocutaneous nerve. Cutaneous nerve. And the medial also splits off, fuses with the lateral cord, and this forms the uh, median nerve. Median. And finally, over here, that's the ulnar nerve. So, these are the five nerves that you need to know um, at the most basic level musculocutaneous, radial nerve, axillary nerve, 
median nerve, and ulnar nerve. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. So that's the brachial plexus. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or any topics that you'd like me to go through in the future, feel free to leave a comment on our Facebook page or under the under this YouTube video. So yeah, thank you very much.